Hello everyone, let's talk about La Nina, the cool sister in the El Nino Southern Oscillation or ENSO family. You might have heard this term pop up in news reports or weather forecasts, but what does it really mean, and why does it matter to us? Meteorologists are watching a vast stretch of the Pacific Ocean, the engine room for this major global weather pattern. This region acts like a giant control panel, influencing weather not just locally, but all around the world. La Nina means the little girl in Spanish and her arrival signals a significant shift in our planet's climate system. It's a natural phenomenon, but its effects can be felt in nearly every corner of the globe. At its core, La Nina is about cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern equatorial Pacific. These cooler waters don't just stay put, they set off a chain reaction that changes weather patterns far beyond the ocean itself. Picture a giant natural air conditioner turning on in the world's largest ocean, sending ripples across the globe. This cooling effect can last for months, sometimes even years, and its influence is both powerful and far-reaching. This cooling disrupts normal rainfall and atmospheric circulation, setting off a global domino effect. Storm tracks shift, monsoons can intensify or weaken, and regions may experience unexpected droughts or floods. It's the opposite of El Nino which brings unusually warm waters in different weather extremes. While El Nino often grabs headlines for its dramatic impacts, La Nina's effects can be just as significant, though sometimes less predictable. When La Nina takes over, it can influence everything from snowfall in your backyard to coffee prices in South America. Farmers, city planners and even global markets pay close attention to its arrival. The key mechanism? Cooler Pacific waters alter the jet streams those high-altitude rivers of air that steer weather systems worldwide. These changes can mean wetter winters in some places, harsher droughts in others, and even shifts in hurricane activity. So, La Nina isn't just a distant ocean event, it's a powerful force shaping the weather right outside your door. Its fingerprints can be found in everything from local storms to global climate trends. Understanding this is the first step to preparing for the colder, wetter, or drier conditions La Nina may bring. By staying informed, we can better adapt to the changes and challenges this climate phenomenon brings to our daily lives. When will La Nina arrive? That's the question on the minds of meteorologists, farmers, and anyone who keeps an eye on the weather. The answer is unfolding right now, as subtle but important changes are already underway. The signs are already here. Across the globe, experts are noticing early shifts in wind patterns, cloud cover and ocean temperatures, small hints that something bigger is brewing beneath the surface. Forecasters have watched the Pacific cool through summer 2025 moving from El Nino to a neutral phase. This transition is a key signal as the Pacific Ocean's temperature swings often set the stage for global weather events. But this is just a pause, La Nina is brewing. The atmosphere and ocean are preparing for a new chapter, one that could shape weather patterns for months to come. The National Weather Service issued a La Nina watch in August, signaling favorable conditions for its development. This alert means scientists are seeing the right ingredients coming together for La Nina to form. Most models predict La Nina will emerge by autumn 2025, likely locking in by the time we're carving pumpkins. As the days grow shorter and temperatures drop, the Pacific's cooling trend is expected to strengthen. Major climate organizations agree, there's about a 60% chance La Nina will take hold late in the year. This consensus comes from analyzing decades of climate data and the latest computer models. Once it arrives, it's expected to persist through the Northern Hemisphere's winter, with impacts strongest from December to February. This means winter weather could be shaped by La Nina's influence, affecting everything from snowfall to temperature extremes. Some forecasts suggest it could last into early spring 2026, extending its reach and keeping weather patterns unsettled for longer than usual. This longevity means its weather patterns will have time to settle in, influencing agriculture, water supplies, and even energy demand across continents. The coming La Nina is expected to be weak to moderate, less dramatic than a strong event but still significant. Even a moderate La Nina can bring noticeable changes to rainfall, drought, and storm activity. Experts note the Pacific is cooling, but the signal isn't overwhelming yet, adding some uncertainty to the intensity. This means forecasts could shift as new data comes in, so staying updated is key. Still, the direction is clear. La Nina is on the way, and its arrival will be felt around the world in the months ahead. So what does La Nina mean for global weather? This climate phenomenon, which is essentially the opposite of El Nino, 
is driven by cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. But its effects are anything but local. La Nina sets off a chain reaction that can be felt all around the world. The core impact is a dramatic shift in rainfall patterns. Heavy rains drench Indonesia, the Philippines and Northern Australia, while the Central and Eastern Pacific, plus parts of South America, turn unusually dry. These changes can disrupt agriculture, water supplies and even daily life for millions of people living in these regions. This redistribution of moisture can trigger floods in some regions and droughts in others. Communities may face crop failures, water shortages or even displacement due to extreme weather events. The consequences ripple through economies and ecosystems alike. The atmospheric changes ripple far beyond the Pacific, altering global circulation patterns. Shifts in the jet stream and trade winds can influence weather thousands of miles away, affecting everything from monsoon seasons in Asia to winter storms in North America. For example, the Horn of Africa may see more rain, while southeastern Africa faces drought, a global seesaw of wet and dry. These swings can lead to food insecurity and humanitarian challenges, especially in vulnerable regions. La Nina also has a net cooling effect on global average temperatures, though it's temporary. This cooling can slightly offset the ongoing trend of global warming, but only for a short period. Regionally, the impacts are sharper. The altered jet stream can drag cold Arctic air south, making winters in western Canada and the northern US colder than average. This can mean more snow, icy roads, and longer cold spells for millions. Hurricanes are another story. La Nina reduces wind shear in the Atlantic, making conditions ripe for more and stronger storms. This can lead to an active hurricane season, with greater risks for coastal communities. Meanwhile, hurricane activity in the eastern Pacific tends to drop. Fewer storms form there, shifting the balance of risk between ocean basins. In short, La Nina reshapes weather across continents, from rainfall to temperature to storm risk. Its reach is vast, touching nearly every corner of the globe in some way. It's a powerful reminder of how interconnected our climate truly is. A shift in one part of the world can set off a cascade of changes everywhere else. The effects are global, but the impacts are felt locally. From flooded streets to parched fields, La Nina's influence is experienced in everyday life. Understanding these shifts is key to preparing for what's ahead. By studying La Nina, scientists and communities can better anticipate, adapt and respond to the challenges of a changing climate. What's in store for North America this winter? The polar jet stream will likely dip south, letting Arctic air pour into the northern US and much of Canada. Expect colder than average temperatures from the Pacific Northwest through the Great Lakes. Think Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and New York. Meanwhile, the southern US will likely be warmer than usual with above normal temperatures in places like Southern California, Arizona, and the Gulf Coast. This creates a sharp north-south weather divide. Precipitation will also split. The North gets more storms and snow, especially in the Pacific Northwest, Rockies and Great Lakes. That's good news for ski resorts and water supplies, but it raises the risk of heavy snowstorms and flooding. The southern half of the country, from California to Florida, is expected to be drier than average. This could worsen drought in the Southwest and impact agriculture and water resources. For Central and Southern California, a dry La Nina winter is a serious concern. The bottom line, prepare for a winter of contrasts. La Nina's reach is global, reshaping rainfall and drought patterns everywhere. Southeast Asia and Northern Australia brace for heavy rains and potential flooding, while Northern South America and the Caribbean also expect wetter seasons. In the Horn of Africa, increased rainfall could help ease drought, but too much rain can cause flooding. On the flip side, Chile, Peru and parts of East Africa and Southeastern China may face drought, threatening water supplies and agriculture. The southern U.S. isn't alone. Many regions worldwide will see less rain. La Nina connects distant weather events, showing how a shift in Pacific temperatures can impact farmers and communities across the globe. These changes affect food supplies, economies, and millions of lives. La Nina often means a busier Atlantic hurricane season. Reduced wind shear over the Atlantic allows more storms to form and intensify, increasing the risk of major hurricanes. This doesn't guarantee a storm will hit your area, but it raises the odds for stronger, longer-lasting hurricanes. Coastal communities from Texas to Atlantic Canada should pay close attention and review emergency plans. The expected La Nina conditions for late summer and autumn 2025 suggest a busy, potentially dangerous hurricane season. Preparation is key, now's the time to get ready. 
stay informed, and be proactive. It's the best defense against nature's power. La Nina brings a short-term cooling effect, but it doesn't reverse global warming. Cooler Pacific waters can lower global temperatures by a fraction of a degree for a year or two, but the long-term warming trend from greenhouse gases continues. Think of climate change as an escalator going up. La Nina is just a brief step down, but the overall direction is still upward. Today's La Nina years are warmer than El Nino years decades ago, showing how much the baseline has shifted. The natural ENSO cycle is now overshadowed by human-driven warming. So, while 2026 may not break heat records, it will still be among the warmest years ever. Don't let La Nina's temporary cooldown create a false sense of security. The climate crisis remains urgent, and long-term solutions are still needed. How certain are we about La Nina's arrival? As of August 2025, multiple lines of evidence, cooling Pacific waters, shifting trade winds, and cloud patterns, point to La Nina developing. Major climate centers worldwide agree, with about a 60% chance of La Nina forming by autumn and lasting through winter. The event is expected to be weak to moderate, but the exact intensity is still uncertain. Forecasters will keep a close eye on the Pacific, updating models as new data comes in. Some models suggest La Nina could weaken by spring 2026, with a possible return to El Nino later that year. For now, the consensus is strong. La Nina is coming, and it will shape our weather. Stay tuned for updates as the season unfolds. What does all this mean for you? In the northern US and southern Canada, get ready for a colder, snowier winter. Time to prep your gear. The southern US faces a warmer, drier season raising drought and wildfire risks. Globally, some regions will see floods, others drought, impacting food supplies and economies. La Nina's forecast is a powerful tool, an early warning to help us adapt and prepare. Whether you're a farmer, city planner, or just planning a ski trip, this winter's weather will be shaped by La Nina. The weather is personal, but the patterns are global. This winter, the little girl of the Pacific will make her presence known.